Talk about a site for sore eyes here. 2019 was the last time Comerica Park was transformed into a massive outdoor concert venue. But now live music is coming back and none other than Guns N' Roses doing it. Our the Tim Pamplin has a look at how much work it takes to pull off a concert of this size. Roadies for Guns N' Roses have been very busy all day loading in to Comerica Park, transforming the ballpark into a rock and roll destination. Yes, they need power power and lots of power, a power plant on wheels just being delivered. And this caught my eye outside hundreds of porta potties, including this one, Guns and Roses behind stage. Yes, Axel Rose and Slash's personal porta potty. This is what's going on the outside. Let's take drone four skyward and take a peek inside. And in the outfield, you'll see the 160 by 80 foot stage under construction. This stage is being held here for three days because uh, there's another concert on Tuesday and transforming the ballpark is quite a challenge. It's really everything from the intricate interwoven booking within the Major League Baseball schedule to all the professional production people that take this venue and create a stage, build the towers, miles of cable um, so that we can do a big rock show. Pressure washers and leaf blowers have been working overtime. Again, two concerts, one Sunday night with Guns N' Roses, and then on Tuesday, the Hella Mega Tour, no less, featuring Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and Weezer. It all kicks off again Sunday night, and it's gonna be a little bit crazy. Sunday night is gonna be loud and exciting and electric. That is the scene at Comerica Park. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. It's gonna be amazing, right up until Axl Rose breaks up with the band again, and they call the whole thing. <laughs> No, knock wood. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. It's going to be loud. You can probably hear it from my house in Detroit, too. So loud. There's no, no question of that's that. That's great. All right, Local 4 News at 6 is next. Guilty pleas from two men charged in the U.S. Capitol attack. What they're admitting to just ahead. Plus, here's Nick Monticelli.